good one anyway. So today I will tell you for Cypher what the software is required in your system and how we can create our Cypress project. So Cypress is a JavaScript project, so we need Node.js in your system. So Node.js is mandatory thing in our system for starting a Cypress project. So first of all, we will install Node.js in our system. So go to browser, download Node.js for Windows. So go to official site Node.js.org. Clicking on this, we have the option for downloading Node.js for Windows, Mac, or other machines. So we need for Windows, we need to download .msi file. So I have a system of 64 bit Windows. So I need to download Windows 64 bit. If you have 32 bit, then you need to download for 32 bit. If you are using Mac machine, then you need to download for Mac. So once the file is downloaded, then you need to install that particular thing. Just clicking on next, next, next. So it will download it on your system. So it is already in my system. So I'm not downloading Node.js. So for that, you need to download Windows.msi file. Okay. So once it is downloaded, go to command form and verify the version, which version is downloaded in your system for the node. So node.py, it's a version that's far. So in my system, the node version is 15.15.1, but the current version is 16.16.01. So the node is installed in my system. Then we need to set environment variable. For environment variable, we need to check where my node.js folder is here. So in my system, node.js is folder is in C program files node. We just copy this particular path. Go to environment variable and we click on enter. So we are on system properties. Clicking on environment variable. In the system variable, just click on new, pass node, underscore home, and pass that particular path. Clicking on OK. It is already in my system, so I'm not setting the path. So you can see the code is already set up in my system just click on ok ok so the environment variable is set on the system so once the environment variable is set and we need to install visual studio code so we are using id's visual studio code so download download visual studio code so go to official site now if you are using windows then you need to download for it because if you are using mac then you need to download for mac so once the file is downloaded, just click on next next next, it will download on your system. So it is already in your system, so I am now downloaded this particular thing. So clicking on this, just type Visual Studio. So Visual Studio is displayed on your system. So clicking on Visual Studio. So, so Visual Studio is open. So I am creating a folder in my system. So I am clicking on Terminal, New Terminal. In the term, suppose I, I need to create a folder at just the desktop and clicking on CD to say it's desktop. So and now I'm on desktop. So for creating a folder, just pass mkdir and the folder name that you need to create. So like I press under demo I am creating. So a folder with Cypress demo is being created on your desktop. So I'm going to desktop. So you can see separate demo folder has been created and the folder is blank. So once the folder is created, we are installing npm. So what is npm? npm is node package manager. So we need to set all the things in my system. So just go to that particular folder, cd space, the folder name. So now I am on Cypress demo folder. So for npm, I just pass what is npm, npm is node package manager. So in that particular thing, we have the dependency for Cypress and all the things. So suppose I'm going to npm, search npm, npm.js.com has been opened. Here you can see the Cypress dependencies and all the dependencies related to npm has been displayed. So like Cypress. So for the, using the Visual Studio in the terminal, we are installing npm. So and initiating npm npm hyphen i init. Okay. 
just press the name, just enter the name, enter version, enter description, enter endpoint, three point, enter test command, enter key to pull the enter keyboard, enter author, enter license, enter just pa. It's okay, just pass yes. So now you can see uh, our package dot JSON file should be created in that particular folder. So now I'm opening the folder file open folder. So in the desktop, I was created a Cypress demo select folder. Here you can see a package.json file is created. Here all the things that we have passed in the terminal has been displayed. So now I'm opening a terminal again. So now I'm installing Cypress. So for installing Cypress, just a command npm install Cypress Cypress CSS and from there oh npm it's npm npm you can see the installing the cypress dependency in our project so once it is a node module code has been created in your system when a package log dot json also created in that particular week you can see the dependency like in the maven project there is a dependency has been given like uh, similar in this so in the package dot json you can see cypress 10 4 0 has been installed here you can see okay so cypress is for system so once the cypress is installed on your system then we open that particular Cypress. So for opening the Cypress FL command, before that we need to put first of all node module in the bin. You can see the Cypress. So I need to go to opening this particular Cypress. So I'm passing N P N oh sorry node underscore modules. So I'm going to a particular folder called dot bin slash Cypress UITR is Cypress open. Now you can see the browser will be open in the Chrome browser. Okay, the Cypress has been open. So we are using for component testing is used by the developer, and for the testing, we are using E2E and 2 end. End. We are just clicking on this. You can see Cypress one dot config dot js and Cypress support E2E. Cypress support command dot js Cypress fixture example dot js. These files should be created, will be created in this particular Cypress project. Here you will you will see once I will clicking on continue the file the folder should be displayed here. Okay, so I am clicking on continue. So initialize. Now I am clicking on connecting the Chrome and start it to you. You can see the Cypress has been opened. So just say here yeah, in the spec file, the list of spec files will be displayed. The spec file is the text which is that we have created. In the runs, in the runs, you can see the runs. And in the setting, there is a option as project setting. What the project setting you need to do? Like these are the settings. Okay. These are the settings that we need. If we need to write, then we can do at the time of creation of project. Okay. So these are the spec files. So. I go to this particular visuals today. Here I was told you that a Cypress in the Cypress project fixture and the support has been created. Okay. So now in this particular suppose I created an empty project. So I create click on create an empty project. So once I'm clicking on this. You can see in the Cypress there is E2E e, in the Cypress E2E e, e, hmm? spec file so it has been created. So create a spec file. So we are creating a sample spec file. So in that particular the code will be displayed. Okay then. So I'm clicking on the you can see that the Cypress is running this particular test. So you can see in the example dot Cypress open has been open and the test has been executed successfully. So I go to my Visual Studio. Here you can see E2E folder has been created and with a spec file that we have created for the sample. So this has been created. So we'll continue 
other things in next lecture so this is for today okay thank you